This is like so annoying you guys, but it has to be done. Hi guys, happy Thursday. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So I am currently at lunch and um, I wanted to jump on here and kind of share with you what's been happening in my home lately. So I told you that I was going to be working like overtime and I believe I did work a lot of overtime, but things have calmed down at work now. So there really isn't a need to work like a lot of overtime so i am back in my little vlogging um journey here on youtube so if you guys want to subscribe to watch more nonsense you guys feel free to do so so um last thing i mentioned on my video which i just posted today um i have not made over the the table this table and I am thinking I'm gonna I'm gonna do that on Saturday or maybe today or maybe tomorrow one of these days you guys and I will share with you what I do so um, last night I was watching um, my 600 pound life you guys on TLC and um, it is so sad you guys that things can get out of hand in regards to food and I decided to kind of make like healthier choices this morning you guys and my body like went into ketosis like right after breakfast and I'm thankful for that you guys but now my son Andrew is making pancakes I'm gonna have a little pancake you guys um, but like whatever so um, I have been like drinking like nothing but water. I normally drink like a Pepsi in the afternoon, you guys, for dinner. But I am going to cut that out today because a long time ago, you guys, I cut out sugar completely and I lost 10 pounds in one week. So we will see what happens in this week, you guys. I don't know if I'm going to lose 10 pounds, but I am going to try. I am not going to quit cold turkey on water on... Um, on sugar I am going to like wing myself little by little each day so um, this morning I did put less sugar in my coffee and this is my fifth cup of water today and um, I already had my Kavita I had my uh, usual egg white breakfast you guys I did not have any tortillas because I'm going to cut down on carbs and inc obviously increase my um, protein intake but this is the cavita that i had today um and like i said my body already went into ketosis and you can tell when your body goes into ketosis because um you get like a weird taste in your mouth and that's what has been happening you guys um so another little update i did my hair yesterday i like you know washed my hair and i blow dried it and I want to train my hair like right now that I'm at home to um, get it trained to not wash it like every day, you guys. I want to like go maybe three or four days without washing my hair. So um, this morning I just um, added, I blow, I blew dry like, the top of the hair and then I added, let me show you actually, let me show you um, the dry shampoo that I used. My house is a mess, you guys, again, like, whatever. Hold on. So, this is the dry shampoo that I used. It's by Swab. Let me put the lid on it so it looks cuter. It is by Swab Dry Shampoo, and I got it at Walmart a long time ago. And actually, you guys, let me show you this bathroom because I have never shared this before. And I made this over, like, on Christmas time last year and i it's not clean you guys but i wanted to kind of share with you what it looks like hold on okay so i believe on christmas eve i made over this room you guys um please the mirror you guys it's not clean stuff is not like perfect right here but um i made this room over with contact paper and duct tape and all this stuff I had on hand, it was in the garage. Um, those little mirrors I purchased at Big Lots, um, 
a long time ago that um, little orchid was given to me in for my 20 year anniversary at work and I had this little um, corner um, thing in my garage and um, I put it here and I, I like it you guys it looks pretty so um, I have that little globe down there toilet paper and then those little lamps and then I have this you guys those little that and that was purchased at Ross um, and we can't go to Ross now you guys but this is like a little calendar holder it's like a little apple and it opens up and my friend gave me that um, there's a hair on my hand my friend gave me that um, lamp I don't know for what but um, I have it in here and I'm allergic to like scents you guys but um, that's there so I pretty much uh, took some and it's not perfect you guys because I don't do perfect jobs but um, this is actually dry erase um, contact paper and this is duct tape and another thing that I did you guys um, were my countertops I painted these countertops and again it's not perfect you guys I painted these um, with some rustoleum metallic paint if I find it I will share it with you but um, overall I think this room looks nice and I also painted the cabinet down here um, white and then I added these little um, the reason these are like um, tucked in you guys is because my daughter is kind of short and she steps on the little um, this right here you guys and that's why these little these are actually um, placemats and I um, spray painted them silver and um, then our little rug that is not um, clean right now but like whatever and um, yeah so that's the bathroom you guys uh, you guys I looked her up again but like whatever but um, yeah it um, it was a long time coming for me to like make this over you guys because my son is breathing in the background but um, yeah I hope that it gives you inspiration maybe one of these days I'll make like a video with like my three little bathrooms that I've made over with like just contact paper and whatever you have on hand you guys you'd be surprised what you can do with like a little bit of imagination and like a little bit of effort but um anyway i'm going to eat my pancake right now you guys before my lunch break runs out um later after work i have to stop by the school to pick up my kids um computer for homeschooling and um yeah i'll talk to you later so my son andrew um made me this tiny little pancake and this is all I am going to eat. And it's very small, you guys. It's not big at all. It looks huge, but it's not big at all. Um, it takes a village. Okay, so I am on my last break. And I came upstairs to change, you guys, because right after work, I am leaving to um, pick up my kid's computer. So I wanted to share with you my outfit of the day. And I threw on... A very simple outfit I am wearing my um, boots from rainbow my pants are time and true from Walmart I recently purchased these I like the dark denim wash I am wearing my black cami this is from Express um, this jacket I purchased from Ross some time ago you guys and I like it because I am petite and this fits like really comfortably. Um, I think I'm not, not even five foot tall, you guys. So um, I am also wearing this scarf, like a leopard scarf. I don't know where I purchased this from, you guys, but um, I like it. It's cold outside and this should keep me pretty warm. I am also going to wear my face mask, you guys, because um, it is now required by law and I do not want to get fined. So um, 
I took just a few minutes to fix up my bed, you guys. And starting next week, I am going to probably start work a little, a little bit later so that I have a little bit of time in the morning to make my bed and throw an outfit together, you guys, because it does make a difference when you, like, get ready for the day. So, um, yeah, I will talk to you later, and I hope that this outfit of the day serves as inspiration for some of you up there out there <laughs> so um my mom had uh one of our she's um the pastor's wife from our old church um she bought these little um face coverings um yesterday or the day before but um this is the print on them but because i am ocd you guys and i don't like patterns and stuff this is the way i'm gonna wear it just um a simple white mask and it's actually very well made she actually made my veil for um our wedding and um yeah this is what i am going to wear this is like so annoying you guys but it has to be done